excited I am. I'm here with my big man. Ah, where should I start now? I want to congratulate you, my my big boss, uh, for achieving that highest honor. Yeah. I guess it's the highest, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, congratulations, my brother. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thank it's you, such thank a you. milestone, and uh, I just hope. Um, you, you you get all the best in your marriage Thank in you. your new endeavor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to this week's um, diaspora report. My name is Michael Kakande, also known as Kapalaga Biebe, and with me here is Haman I Neviona, the diaspora coordinator, the team leader himself is a newlywed um, groom. Yeah, that groom. One, that one. <laughs> <laughs> He's a newlywed groom, and uh, but Emirimuje Kwanga Jotiji Emirira. So nonstop, nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> so I beg a jigger that man. So now I got Emirimuje Kwanga Jotiji Emirira. So I want to steal uh, just a minute of your time, big boss, uh, to talk about Uganda. Mm. First, uh, say hi to the people, comrades. Um, send you greetings from the diaspora. My name is Amana. Viona, how are you doing? Are you excited? Uh, I am, at least. Um, I, I, I want to welcome you to this weekly diaspora review. Yes, um, your marriage, of course. Talk about talk about your marriage. You know, you went one. Just a minute. You're a dick, but it's a dignitary. That one. But where did you leave your English today? <laughs> no, I'm just excited. Okay. No more reason to know I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got it. yeah, just tell us about your marriage and, and the experience. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, I've been with a girl for about four years. They're expecting a baby. Okay. And I think um, we are working towards building the nucleus, um, the nucleus of society, which is yeah. a family. Yeah. So it's uh, pleasure, it's exciting, uh, it's interesting, and it's simple, it's basic, it's not, and actually what, what I think about marriage is not that day necessarily, mm. it is the after, it's the post day, it's yeah. the post wedding day, mm. so I think, um, you know, that day is exciting in itself, but I worry more about, you know, the future, that's what, I, that's what concerns me, and that's where my interest is. And of course, uh, being a family man that you you are now, you must be concerned uh, with with the governance of our country, mm -hmm. and uh, because all this we do mm -hmm. is for our kids and grandkids, just like our fathers and and grandfathers went into the bush to fight. So basically, we are also here for our generation to to uh, literally do something mm -hmm. for for the generation. Mm -hmm. um, so now. I want to use a minute, um, if you can, to tell us what's happening in the diaspora. In the diaspora? We've, we've just had the nominations. Yeah. We've just had the raids. Yeah, the raid. Yeah. Um, it is saddening. Some things were expected. Mm. There's a lot. I know people were concerned about 23 million and mm. this mm. that they took, but that was for us. Mm. Um, first of all, a few people alerted us. Um, but also, it was expected, mm -hmm. you know, in Kamocha, everyone knows Kamocha, so it was expected, because we do our things in the open, and, but we and, are also and, cautious. And, and of course, the, the, the way the regime operates, it's, it's so predictable. It is, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's quite predictable. So, um, the raid happened, they took what they took. And they least, stole. Well, they stole what mm -hmm. they stole, exactly. Uh, but at least the most valuable possession now in Bugambi, if you, you know. I think it's common knowledge. I don't know why people are so worried, mm. uh, but it's common knowledge that you know once you're saving or you're keeping something aside, you find at least the more important things are kept in a more secure and not public location. So we we are confident they took some things. Of course, it hurts us. Like for instance, it's expensive to make uh, the you know the people power berets. It's expensive mm. to make t-shirts. It's expensive to make those things. So it hurts us still, but uh, you know the more valuable stuff um, is not necessarily um, yeah. there. We already 
they I think they did it late because mm-hmm. we already decentralized. We have offices it is mm-hmm. throughout the region. Mm-hmm. If they had if they needed to do a, a fair raid they would have raided every one of those offices. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah. I think it's a little bit naive yeah. <laughs> of them. But T- yes. Talk about the heart, the, the, the heart that was displayed by the people after the raid. Mm-hmm. I think it's, it's something that the government has to get worried of. Mm-hmm. For example, we mobilized in, and in just one night we were able to, 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 recover. to recover the 20... Actually, we got 25 million and mm-hmm. they stole 23 million. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that heart? I think I think it instigates I think some of these things that, that people power has been able to achieve have been from um, from the uh, from the uh, from the triggers of the So yeah um, the you know we we some of the things I was saying some of the things that people power possesses are because of triggers like that they yeah. forget that once the more they do that mm. the more they instigate us mm. but i want this is a diaspora weekly report so let's move to the diaspora what's happening in the what's diaspora? happening in the diaspora Tell uh us. we have events um, in south africa um, okay. the western cape uh, our brother david is going to be uh, is going to become the agari uh, awamu they have a community um organization in south africa okay yeah. the, like the the ugandans in yeah the Ugandans in, in, uh, in south, south africa, africa. yeah okay. western cape okay. they have a community organization and our brother david is going to become president he's nominated to become president of okay. um and then um then of course we are doing fundraising you've been seeing online fundraisers we have an upcoming uh, meeting with the principal also an online event um the coordinators in the u.s um, on the 24th will be in uh, texas dallas texas and we'll be roasting you it will be catching up and also strategizing mm-hmm. um as coordinators when is in that the US. that's on the 24th okay. um our coordinators down there comrade uh, edward abiri comrade joseph kamugisha and comrade hassan kizito they are organizing that event which is exciting mm-hmm. um you'll be there i think most mm-hmm. likely yeah. uh, today there's an event in seattle um so if you know if you're in seattle or if you're around those areas it's happening now or very <coughs> soon because they are three hours behind boston mm-hmm. uh but yeah that's what's going on kata we haven't recruited new um chapters because we've been very focused on resolving this candidate mm-hmm. issue mm-hmm. um and i spoke to kampala last night and they'll give us a full report on monday about uh, the number of uh, MPs that we are able to the number, nominate. yeah, the numbers that we nominated. Okay. Um, I have for Ankole region, uh, we have we managed to get about 15 MPs uh, for just Ankole sub region, Ankole sub region because Western has Kibiazi, Ankole, Nyoro, it's different sub regions. So, um, yeah, that's how we are doing. But the, I want to thank the people in the diaspora before I run away mm. um, that for, for that spirit of fundraising that they have showed, you know, the initial 170 million that started the entire campaign, but then they continue to support um, the yeah, yeah, yeah. um, even after that. And some of them on the individual basis. Right, direct, yeah. directly supported. Yeah. So people have been uh, as spirited and we are, we are working, we are building our communications team. Our finance team is all set, so we are going now to focus on communication. And you'll be seeing our comrade Lee Oriema in the UK. He's heading that team and you're part of that team because, <laughs> <laughs> because of your travel in, um, in digital and with your communication. So um, there's a lot that we are planning to do. Um, we are also pursuing legal action against, um, against certain acts by the government. Um, our legal department is doing that. You see, when you're going to sue someone, you don't want them. So um, that one is more, how do they say, clandestine, classified, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's what that's what we are working on. Fair enough. Of course, I can't go without teasing you about what I'm what I'm planning. Mm. You remember what I told yeah, you about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something yeah. that is gonna be big. Yeah. Mm. Blasting. Mm. Oh my God. Twenty people. Twenty millions. Mm. I'll tell you more. <laughs> Thank you. Up. Coming up. Coming <laughs> up. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, brother, brother, 
uh, don't change your diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you for um, uh, for being with us. This is the normal uh, weekly report. It's a diaspora for the people power NUP. Of course, with the man, the big man himself, Hamana and Eliona, the people power NUP uh, team leader in the diaspora. And my name is Michael Kakande, also known as Kapalaga Baby. Please share this video so uh, so many people can get to know more about uh, what's happening in the diaspora. And of course, we can't go without telling them uh, how they can reach. Uh, right. So if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, send us a WhatsApp message on plus one, 857-719-4451. If you're around the US, you can send cash up on that number. You can send Zell. Uh, you can use Zell to transfer money. Uh, the email for People Power is NUP Mission 2021 at gmail.com. Uh, that is for the diaspora. We use that. You can send PayPal on there if you want to transmit and support. So there are many things that are, yeah, many ways to reach out, out to us. Facebook, go to Kapalaga Baby's Facebook page, come to my inbox, and I uh, will address whatever concern uh, that you have to raise. You want me to talk about uh, bloggers. Bloggers have become a challenge <laughs> in the movement. Yeah. Um, but you see, we we are focused on work. On, on, the, on the mission. On the I mission. Mean, we have a mission. We have a mission. I want to remind you, we officially have two less months. than two months. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's wind up. We'll talk about this. We shall the definitely next. talk about more uh, mm -hmm. more of that. Uh, but this this is the the weekly diaspora report. Please share with your friends. Uh, share in your WhatsApp groups. Share on your Facebook pages, so people can get to know what's happening. And um, I think this this message is worth sharing. Thank you once again, and congratulations, my brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>